got a DK Custom package, DK Custom Products package, so basically Christmas early. You got a coil uh, relocation. We've got our ready to plug spark plugs. We're gonna go our cannabis adapter for the push button ignition. We're going with a two inch tank lift this time. I did the one and a half inch last time. I liked it. I want another half inch. And the F6 ignition relocation. And the push button LED. So pretty excited to dive into this. Let's see how it rolls. All right, so first thing we do is take the seat off, take the battery cover off. We're gonna go ahead and remove the main fuse. Remove the main fuse. Put this somewhere where I won't lose it or damage it. And I'm gonna go ahead and just cover this all back up. So we don't get any dust in there. This nut would be a pain in the ass, but I decided to go chew some. I just want to loosen it a little so I can move that front part of the gas tank. found the right leverage. Damn. These things were tight, man. Shit. All right, now that we got the tank loosened, we're going to go ahead and clip these. these on this side okay we got the tank lifted up we clipped all these already we got a level just holding the space there I don't want to take the whole tank off because it's actually a full tank what you want to be careful though is that pit cot valve Unscrew in the coil bracket. off Plastic part off. There we go. Zip tie that out. And 
right here. Disconnect the coil. I'm gonna save that because we gotta take it off of this bracket because we're getting a new bracket. But put this to the side. I'll go ahead and take off the old spark plugs. And go ahead and start just connecting everything. Good thing about these is all these plugs can only fit into each other. So you can't really confuse them. Ah, almost everything is separated. This whole bunch of cables right here, which I'm gonna go ahead and cut this zip tie, tighten up these turn signal ones from the relocation kit, and I'm gonna clean all this crap because damn. thing that's filthy I think when I had my first one I definitely washed it too much but this thing I don't know if this thing has <laughs> been washed nearly enough I might have to get some safety pins and pin that this because I am going to use that push button LED so I'm excited to see how that turns out okay so this pulling this out of the stock connector was an absolute pain in the ass but it already allowed me to run this one this left turn signal better I'm gonna go ahead and go on the right side and run the turn signal a little cleaner on that relocation as well. Now I ran that in. Fortunately for me, I took a picture, just double checking where it was, but since I only had to undo three, I remember it was inverse, so if this went black, purple, blue, then it's gonna go blue, purple, and black. They're snug in there, and then I'll just put the backing on and clip, and now it's ready to go. All right, so gonna take off the stock bracket here and I'm gonna go ahead and mount at least the bracket and get it ready to. That way when I tape all the wires up, I'll just hang it over and know uh, how long I have to go. All right. We know this is for the coil and that's gotta go on the other side. So we can go ahead and untape all this. Just because I know I'm going to have to take this one and plug it in on the back side for the relocation of the ignition switch. And in the coil, I believe, is this one right here. And that's going to be coming right over the top. So I want to create enough space to where I'm not short on any kind of wire. The hardest thing about buying a used bike is that getting it to feel like it's, it's yours. You know, my last iron, I bought brand new. It literally had two miles on it when I bought it. And so anything and everything that 
that bike went through, we went through together. And this one, I got it with 1700. And, you know, other people may not treat their equipment the same way, or, you know, I don't know. It's still cream puff, because, I mean, 1700 miles, everything's pretty great, but, you know, it just doesn't quite feel like mine yet but after a few a few mods it'll it'll start to come together Good. that's gonna be for the coil we'll run that right there anything else is gonna be These two will work over. These ones clip up and over is what we want. And that way everything gets hidden in the spine of the belly. Alright, using a T45. Unscrew these. Oh. Go ahead and grab the coil, plug it in. That way, I don't have to worry about trying to do that when it's already anchored. It's going to sit right there. All right, so now we're going to torque these ones down 30 to 40 foot pounds and we'll just call it an even 35 or would that be an odd 35 damn snugged up start buttoning up that and I'm saving the uh, push button start for last but that F6 location is right here so just tightening that up making sure I had a clearance and then I'm gonna start probably zip tie a couple more of these just to kind of clean it up yeah let's see we can zip tie a few more places what up Porter Hey buddy, hey buddy, you want butt pats? You want butt pats? And so it's going to go into the ears like that. And then these holes are going to line up at the bottom for the long bolt to go through. everywhere we made sure we got clearance with those wires so the torque specs for the front and back of the gas tank are 15 to 20 foot pounds I'm just gonna make that 17 washer again 
trying to protect the tank I've learned the hard way There it is. 